Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. I'm Surya Gangadharan. Today, my guest is Mr. Grant Ko. He's a tech entrepreneur and academic from Taiwan. He is uh, some of the uh, major uh, um, uh, technology companies like Hewlett Packard. He was their uh, managing director. He was their vice president, sorry. Uh, he was also the head of media tech in India, which designs chipsets for mobile phones and other electronic devices. Mr. Grant Ko, welcome to this conversation and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ko, let's begin by asking you, um, uh, there's a lot of talk going on about um, Taiwanese businesses in China and how many may be planning to move out of there. Um, what do you think, um, uh, how practical is this proposition really? Do you really think it's easy to move out of China like that? Um, I think like uh, everything have a pushing power or pulling power. The pushing power means that like you have no choice. For example, like uh, the, the trade words between like China and USA. So like uh, they make some ecosystem change. So this yeah. is so called push, uh, push power. You have no choice. The pulling power is means like uh, that will be benefit to you will give some value to you. So it will attract you to both. OK, so since like uh, now the world trades like uh, uh, many things happen. So like a change is for sure. And and so your question means like uh, after change, uh, can whether Taiwanese company will move into India? Yes, <laughs> actually, yes. <laughs> OK, so so means like uh, in the first it have a push power. The push power means like uh, uh, they have some fighting, so they, they force it like a value chain, you change. So then the second point will consider about like uh, a pulling power. That means like uh, why you need to move to India? Yeah. No matter moving to India, moving to like uh, any country, the company, the first question they were asking, what's the benefit to myself? Absolutely, yeah. And from the company, the thinking logic, the first one they were thinking from like a value chain, it's been, uh, my my supplier, my competitor, yeah. my user, my component uh, or material supplier, or like ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one, like uh, when uh, most of the inference power is like uh, from the customer. For example, like uh, uh, Foxconn, in some time back, he moved into Chennai. It's because Nokia yeah. there. Yeah, so yeah. Nokia said, you need to come. So you have no choice, you need to come. And so like uh, one is like a front customer. The other one is mean uh, like a value chain. Or like uh, so many, like uh, my component, everything is there. So of course, in case I, I'm in the same location, it's very convenient. If I need to change something, design uh, change or something, my supply can easily. Uh, of course, like, uh, my supply need to follow me. OK, so most of the control power is me. But the other thing is, for example, semiconductor. Like uh, the infrastructure is very important. Yeah. The infrastructure include like a power, water, or like a land, even like a, a tax, or like a, some government policy with the support is the industry or not. Okay, so from this angle to consider it, we can yeah. think in like, a, for example, in case a Taiwanese company, they want to move here, whether their customer is here, in case they, their customer is not in here, that means they must have some benefit from supply chain or yeah. from tax or from like infrastructure. So in, in case like um, in this area, I feel like uh, uh, is no direct incentive. OK, from like maybe supply chain or from like a material or something. And like uh, in the past, now Taiwanese people is more, uh, uh, how to say, uh, fear uh, India is a good place, need to be there. The first one, uh, for example, like when I uh, first time come to India, is because like uh, some kind of like uh, uh, we merge a company in India, and like uh, before merge, we also send the project to this India company. Perfect. We find like India people so smart, and then after one year, we fear why now we just merge this company, and once we merge this company, the princess and prince get married, the trouble come. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> okay. after one year, you know, the attrition rate, how much attrition rate? 39 percent attrition rate. My gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when I come to India, so my chairman told me, say, Grant, 
like we need some experienced people to help to like uh, check it, see whether it can like uh, uh, recover, make up. Okay. So like uh, when I reach India, I find a major problem. It's just communication. It's culture. You, you know, Taiwan is a high tech. Taiwan is very famous. For example, like a ninety-five percent of up like a uh, noble PC is made by uh, uh, like a Taiwan. A lot yeah. of high tech is made by uh, Taiwan. So Taiwan people's mindset is more from ODM concept, which means discipline, process, time commitment, etc., etc. So for India, India side is more like uh, the people is more innovation. So they always like to debate bargaining, and they like uh, sometimes not converge, they, they are diverge. So this totally different concept. Mm -hmm. So when marriage each other, then one guy say, follow me, this is discipline, just do it. The other guy say, no, I even not talk about my concept. But after like a half year, try to arrange like uh, the thinking logic and language and, and process from attrition rate 39%. We change to a very productive and like a very attractive size from like a meditative aspect. Okay, so I want to say this one has been like, uh, it's not from like uh, tangible, as I mentioned, it's been customer, supply chain, material, infrastructure, but intangible area has been culture, whether people know each other, thinking logic is sent to each other. So for Taiwanese people come to India, uh, I fear this is intangible area is also not easy. Yeah. Yeah, and the other one means like uh, 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 for tangible area, I have mentioned the customer is not in here. And yeah. like a supply chain is also not in here. And then if we want to have a more attractive to convince like the Taiwanese people come here, it must have some, some, some other things. For example, the tax. But sometimes, like uh, the Taiwanese, uh, Taiwan, because no relationship, like uh, how to say, with India government. So we, the tax is an issue. Yeah. And sometimes, like, uh, for example, they, they, how to say, I, I feel like uh, this area is not convenient. So in case, like, uh, uh, if I'm India government, I need thinking has been, if I want to attract some industry come to India, so can I just like say have some arrangement or like uh, some different? Otherwise, no Taiwanese people come to India, no benefit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in from what you're telling me, um, there is an issue with India when you want to come here and invest. Uh, there is an issue, and uh, could uh, the fact that it's a federal system where there are. Um, states with their own governments, with their own rules and laws. Is that a major issue also? Uh, for example, like uh, uh, your country have like, uh, uh, for example, investments, trading, like a benefit policy or like something with like uh, some other country. Yeah. But actually like uh, India and uh, like uh, Taiwan, we don't have any like uh, this kind of relationship. I see. Uh -huh. Can you explain further? What is what exactly what you're referring to? Some trade agreement or something? Yeah, for example, like uh, some trade agreement, then the mutual benefit on the uh, tax or something. But Taiwan, yeah. like no, uh, like a formal relationship with like India. Yeah, so yeah. we like, like uh, we cannot have this kind of like uh, uh, how to say beneficial to each other. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the last few years. Um, the government has announced various reforms of various kinds, including land, labor, and even capital. Um, do you think, uh, I mean, have you uh, known about these reforms? They were announced fairly recently. Uh, what is your reaction to them? Have you heard about them? Yeah, I heard about that. And that's perfect. That means like uh, India government also aggressive. They want to attract the foreign people to, to, to come here. Okay. But as I mentioned to you, intangible area, for yeah. that infrastructure, that is only one of the many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. so like the, in case, like, and the other one, for example, like uh, the do the business uh, easier. For example, in case we uh, Taiwanese people facing any difficulty in India, because like uh, no formal relationship, if this is the case, like uh, how can we do the business more easier? Mm -hmm. Or like 
like so so it's always considered the pulling power we will consider everything together and mm -hmm. see like uh, everything together the value is good uh, is strong enough attract us to come to india or not tell me how much do uh, taiwanese businessmen and industrialists how much do they actually know about india you know um, they all know about vietnam you know uh, but how much do they actually know about india is it largely negative I feel like uh, uh, a lot of Indian people, India uh, officers, they spend a lot of time. For example, from MEITY, like uh, a lot of like office, uh, office officers, they have spent a lot of effort. So Taiwanese people, they know India quite well. Almost everybody know India, but like know India and get into India is two story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so for is example, it, uh, yes. Yeah. So is it the politics that you find, uh, is it, um, I mean, I know this is another sensitive issue, corruption. Corruption is everywhere. But um, does the politics, uh, does it also make it uh, awkward, uh, difficult to operate? You mean like uh, in like uh, uh, local government operations? Yes. I, yes. I feel like uh, I've been in India about 12 years. And frankly, frankly speaking, in the beginning, I we were facing some difficult on, difficulty on that. Yeah. But in like a, uh, the recent five years, improved a lot. So this area, I think, like uh, is improved a lot. No issue, no no questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So there is some light on the horizon, you would say. Uh, pardon? There is some uh, hope in that sense for India drawing investment. Yeah, I, I know like, uh, especially in these two, uh, two years, many Taiwanese people travel to India and like, uh, like, uh, uh, so, so they get interesting and they're starting to visit and also talk. And I know like uh, some my friends company, they have been in uh, investment in India. Uh, so, so like uh, uh, we can see the good progression in the future. Okay. But I mean, you know, like uh, for like a tax, those kind of like uh, easy to do business, it, that area can be some kind of improvement that would be uh, even better. Okay, so tax and ease of uh, working environment, that's yeah. what you're looking at really. Yes. Okay. Do you find the tax system very unpredictable, uh, very high? Uh, I, I think now like uh, it's improved. But as I mentioned, like because Taiwan and India, we know like uh, uh, formal relationships. Yeah. So like uh, the, part, the, the we cannot have like a like a rack or like a trading investment like a benefit. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, in case like uh, the, the tax, and for a smartphone, maybe the profit only like uh, fifteen percent or ten percent. But right. in case the tax is seventy percent, eighteen percent, then we cannot compete any yeah. any other company, any country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's look at 5G, you know, which is uh -huh. uh, now India um, has been talking about 5G. I mm -hmm. understand the trials that were to be held this year may be postponed. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your sense? What are you hearing about India's 5G plans? Have you heard anything at all? Okay, uh, I heard a lot, but like uh, from my, my some opinion, Okay, so the 5G, the 5G benefit is means like uh, the time lag is very small and also transmission speed is very fast. Yeah. So given this, what's the benefit? The benefit is no time delay and also like bandwidth is quite big. But do people really need like uh, the transmission speed is so fast? Because not 4G, we see the uh, uh, data streams, video is quite good. It's okay, no issue. In the time lag, like in case like a you and me conversation, we have like a 0.5 second lag. You even can uh, feel, uh, figure it out. Okay, mm. so the 5G for that angle aspect, the benefit is means like for example in the industry control, you want to have like a, a like a auto drive a vehicle, or you want to have a very critical control, or you need to like a uh, transmit like a high speed like a, a VR or like uh, uh, AR, those kind of like uh, equipment. You need this kind of like a benefit. But mm -hmm. from pure communication, the people know such kind of benefit. Okay, 
So if that is case, whether uh, like um, uh, uh, like a bring the five G to the India immediately is really help or not? And of course, like in case no five G, maybe you will say the industry of five G, uh, India could be missed the trend. Yeah. Okay. So if that is case, need to consider is from like uh, for example, and the five G uh, like uh, industry include the system and application. From the uh, system wise, is a hardware manufacturer. So, like uh, in case you no have an infrastructure, no like uh, like a system, it's difficult for you to like uh, build up uh, like a five G hardware. The the system yeah. requirement, okay. And for like uh, your strengths, it's mean you have a lot of talent people. So those people they can try to work out some solution instead of hardware, okay. Mm. But the, the solution they need. The uh, how to say the, the 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 case for them to practice to really work with, okay. In Taiwan, we have the hardware engineer, we have the hardware knowledge. So I remember, like uh, in long time back, they have a, a officer, very good officer, is like uh, names Ajay Kumar. He's uh, from MITY, but now he moved into like uh, other uh, like uh, uh, ministries. So when he visit Taiwan, he said a word. I I remember that he say IT. What means IT? India and Taiwan. <laughs> India, software, innovation, T, Taiwan, hardware. So these two combine like a, is a win win situation. In case they're not come like a working together, that is a loss loss condition. Yeah. Yeah. So in, in this kind of concept, I think this is true. For example, Taiwan have very strong like a hardware, but we have, we, our people is not so like uh, innovative. So if we have an uh, India people, they have like uh, some solution. For example, they create some solution, but they they need have uh, really cases to work with. For example, industry 4.0 or AI or using the AR or something. So they have no knowledge. They have like innovation. So Taiwan have hardware. So in case like both side can uh, cooperate in this area, we can even provide the opportunity for your people to. To really practice what means like uh, industry 4.0, so their knowledge can become like a, a commercialized. It's not only a concept. So I feel like Taiwan and India actually have a complementary to each other. So in case like both sides can work in together, I feel this is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Ko, are you aware that uh, there is this company called Reliance, yes. which has uh, developed its own uh, 5G? Have you mm -hmm. heard anything about this? Yes, I heard about that. What is your uh, sense? I mean, they have not given much details of uh, their technology, but what is your sense? What is it that you've been able to uh, gather? Okay, maybe maybe some company. Uh, I I can only like uh, give a comment in very general. I cannot like yeah. a specific. Yeah. Because maybe some company they want to uh, like a uh, first uh, uh, move advantage. Yeah, the, the first move advantage in case, like for example, bandwidth, maybe still no other competitor want to like uh, compete with like a bandwidth, so they yeah. can get a, like uh, a reasonable price of like a bandwidth, mm -hmm. or like uh, when they can do something, they can have like a first mover advantage. But from like the India government point of view, you need thinking it means in case like uh, development in this way, in five years later, and how to do can be. Uh, like how say, uh, overall good to India instead of like only good to uh, some specific like uh, entity. They just move first. Uh, maybe three years, four years ago, I think like MITY also they have a concept. They want to have a, like uh, the ecosystem of like a handset. So in that time, I support them to uh, like uh, phone up a training classes. The like RD manager and like of India who interested in handset to Taiwan. And after they come to Taiwan, Taiwan phone up uh, ecosystem. We have like uh, twelve company from memory chipset, PCB, everything. So we just like share with names. So I suggest India, you can use in your like uh, uh, how to say position of like uh, purchase or something. You need to bring in RD to to India. After you bring in the RD to India, the decision power, decision maker is on your hand. So that will help you to bring bring up like a downstream component or module, and then cluster. 
one by one. So after that, you can build up your ecosystem. Okay. okay. So to uh, sum up, Mr. Ko, um, Taiwanese firms, businessmen are looking at India. They are interested. There are certain intangibles in India. Tax mm -hmm. you mentioned. Uh, the perhaps the political environment. And more than anything else, uh, we have the uh, ideas and the innovation and the brain. Uh, we perhaps need a lot more R and D to go with it. Um, so, uh, Mr. Grant Ko, it's been lovely talking to you. Uh, we've got some insights into how uh, Taiwan looks at India. And uh, perhaps, as you mentioned, uh, the recent reforms announced in India could uh, pave the way for greater investment of Taiwanese companies. Uh, Mr. Ko, thank you very much for your time. And thank you for the insight and your perspective. Thank you. Yeah, all the best.